Hello and welcome to this week's Glass Tire Top 5. It is the week of August 1st, 2019. I'm Christina Reese. I'm John Rivette. So tell us about yourself. Uh, I'm John Rivette. I'm an artist and I am a professor, associate professor of painting and drawing at West Texas A&M University. Um, and I also am sort of the regional, I guess I don't want to say expert, but Emerald Ramp guy, uh, which is where we are today. Tell us what Emerald Ramp is. So Emerald Ramp is a famous work of land art by the sculptor Robert Smithson. It was built in 1973, um, and it is in the little middle of nowhere uh, in a ranch in Texas. And I have been working with the sculpture for about 25 years, uh, and I do a lot of cleanups. Actually, today we were supposed to schedule a student work cleanup. I drag students out here, uh, but we decided to postpone to the fall. And I wanted to give a real quick shout out to the Pennell Foundation. They actually funded us for about five years to do this, and we really appreciate all the help that Greg and all of them have done for the power station. This is my second visit to the ramp. Sometimes the ramp is there's it's less fuzzy than it is right now. I like it in every which way, actually. I yeah, it's fine. But um, we say we need a haircut. It gets pretty <laughs> insane every once in a while. Yeah. Uh, I hate mesquite trees. You can put that on the record. Sure. Number okay. five is Spencer Evans. Uh, he, he is a recent MFA for you. Is that correct? Mm -hmm. And he is doing a project at the C. They've got a residency that happens there. His in this weekend, his work deals with um, the duality of people, their inner lives versus the outer lives that they show people. So when people come into the DMA and they see parts of the permanent collection hung in the C3 area, he can interact with visitors and patrons and they can work on some art with him about these themes. Or Number else. four, the man of steel, women of wonder and that is through september 1st yeah and, uh, it's a show organized by crystal bridges at the san antonio museum of art that's right yep. yeah so it's a big show it's been up for a little while they've had some excellent programming around this some great speakers but uh men of steel women of wonder is um basically the art world's response to the ideas and iconography of um superman and wonder woman and so it goes all the way back to the depression when these uh when these characters were created so there's norman rockwell all the way up to jim shaw layla ali it's a group show it's national it's international uh brandon's seen it he likes it and it is up through september 1st yeah. so number three is shauna hone at women in their work in austin um this show opens this weekend is that correct yeah yeah we haven't seen it she was a core fellow i think she's from virginia originally um but she came to houston to do the poor residency and she um She's got a solo show at Women in Their Work. I just think this work looks really interesting. This is just looking at reproductions of it online, but she also works with duality, yeah. although it's about women and sexuality, but she does these really menacing, interesting, kind of totemic, compelling sculpture. Number two on our list this week is in Houston. It's Cody Ledvina, or Ledvina, um, kind of an MVP in Houston. He was gone for a while. He's back. This is a solo show at Blank Check Gallery, a really tiny gallery that's run by some very cool people. We just ran a review of it by Paul Mindor. The drawings look great. It looks like this is definitely something you should check out before it closes on August 8th, and it's sort of a homecoming for this particular um, very beloved artist in Houston. And number one, we're here. It's the Woo, ramp. The Amarillo ramp. This is awesome. So we can't put it on the list unless we can recommend it and tell you to go see it. This is not an easy thing to go see. No, you have to get permission to see it. It is on our private ranch, but I'm glad we're talking about it because it actually changed uh, how you get to come see it. Okay, so past. how can our readers come see so it? So you have to go to Holt Smithson Foundation front page they have an inquiries box and you just write in I want to go see Emerald Ramp uh, and what they do is they will contact my friend Brad Holland uh, he's the ranch manager for the property and he will usually take you out there if you ask for me he will mention it to me and I'll see if I can take you don't try to find it yourself do I, not I mean uh, it's... the Cowboys do not like visitors out here unannounced <laughs> they will make you leave also you yeah. just won't be able to find it so if you're on a summer road trip though and you're up, heading up into or through the panhandle and you're anywhere near Amarillo this would be worth a stop. If you're out about this summer, try to see this and otherwise go see some art. Yeah, definitely go see art. That's the best thing you can do. <laughs>